Hi, I'm Alex Horn. And I'm Craig Davis. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Sarah O'Connell Show. O'Connell Show. Yeah, the O'Connell Show, yeah. Okay, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome. Welcome to it. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Uh, so, Series 5 of Taskmaster is starting uh, today, I believe, actually, which is very exciting. Tonight. Yeah. Tonight at 9 o'clock on Dave. On Dave. So, what can we expect this year from this season? What's what's coming up? Who's in the show? I can list them. It's Bob Mortimer, Sally Phillips, Mark Watson, Nish Kumar and Ashling B. So it's a strong line-up. And what can you expect? You can expect more fiendish tasks and uh, pretty much bang on the same budget, same same style. Same stuff, yeah. No, it's economical with the... Uh, we make we the, the money's all on the screen. The tasks will be the surprising thing, and the people's response to them, uh, which is endlessly fascinating to yeah. us. Yes, there's some real low points and and two, two or three high points. Yeah. So it's both unexpected and expected, yeah. like this. I kind of expected that to happen. I can sense I can sense the chemistry oozing from you both. It was nice because the beard. That's weird because I wasn't expecting to do it. <laughs> mm. You, we expecting two though. <laughs> it feels like it's going to be a full-on snog in a minute. Is he very, very Moorish? Is he like Twiglets? Like to start with, you're not sure, but then you get a taste of him, and then salt lick. I feel like a big lick? old cat. So have you have you got any uh, favourite tasks from this year's show? Yes. Yes. We went to a beach for a day with each of them, and that was really fun because there's a different environment. So I went on a boat with all of them, and they had to get me to shore as quick as possible. That was fun. Yeah, I liked who can make the biggest splat. <laughs> That's cla it's classic the, Taskmaster it's the, fodder. It's the cerebral ones I like. Ones where they really have to use the old grey matter. Make yeah. a big old splat. <laughs> they had to um, sing a song about a stranger, which was that was a really good one. Yes. They met a woman, they had 20 minutes to write a song about her and then perform it to her. And it was ha haunting, and in some cases, genuinely, personally offensive toward the lazy. Mm -hmm. Leslie, she's called, and Bob Mortimer called her all sorts of names he did he said uh, she's a fucking nightmare yeah over and over again he, he only met her for a couple of minutes and then the chorus was Leslie she's a fucking nightmare while staring her, staring her in the eye yeah unashamed I don't know why you'd have to ask Bob she was lovely why hasn't he got compassion for <laughs> I was going to say women though <laughs> that's not that's not the woman. case for woman for woman woman yeah why is why hasn't he got any compassion for woman it's outrageous. So, in addition to Series 5, it's just been announced that there's going to be an All-Stars version of Taskmaster with all previous winners from Series 1 to 5 and whoever the winner of Series 5 is. Yes, that's it has, right. It has just been announced. Josh Whittacombe, Rob Beckett, <laughs> Catherine Ryan, thank you, and Noel, Noel Fielding, Fielding, plus one to TBA. Yeah, because none of us know who's won Series 5 yet. We do, mm. but you don't know, and we can't tell you, because you, otherwise you might not watch the whole series. Mm. But they're all massive hitters. Yeah. Big hitters, <laughs> seriously competitive uh, human beings. It's going to be brutal. Mm. But all of them are under 5'10". In height? Height, yeah. They're all about the same. I don't think that's a... I think you're normally excellent with your statistics, but I don't... Fielding? Are you thinking fielding is taller? No, I just don't know what's the point in bringing... If they were all under five foot, I'd say that's remarkable, but people being under 5'10". Okay, but they're nice all over 5'8". They're all about the same height. Is that oh, better? well, that's more interesting. Mm, they're all about 5'8 or 5'9". Is it run a bit like NASA? Because I know they've got height restriction. Is it the same with Taskmaster? That's true. I wanted to be an astronaut, and you have to be under six foot to be an astronaut. And I wanted to do a skydive once for charity, well, and I big. couldn't because I was too tall. Too just the height, was it? Too tall, yeah. Oh, what, what is the weight? Is that, what, is that where it, you're I going? I think it's probably a weight yeah. thing. Why could you be too tall for a parachute? Oh, no, two inches too tall, apparently. Too heavy. Anything, it'll take less effort to get up there. shows what you know. I was a student, actually, and I was quite svelte. I was. I remember you being svelte. I was svelte. In the clang days, you were lovely. <laughs> and now look. <laughs> He's in excellent shape. Thanks, man. So, um, can you tell me a bit about how you actually put the tasks together? Well, I'm always under Greg's orders, but I tend to come up with them. And I, I, I ask Alex to, to um, <laughs> dissect elements of the contestant's character, and then he comes up with the ways of doing that. Mm. I also know what will please you more and more. So, yeah, something involving 
with every day that passes he knows how to please him he knows more and more how to, how to make me happy <laughs> I want to make him happy so I mean basically they come from Alex's uh, twisted mind under my instruction yeah they're all designed to please you yeah or, or to, to at least to get a reaction from you yeah mm. have, you, um, have you got a wish list of people you'd like to be on the show or people you'd like to perhaps put into these situations Jack Nicholson Jack Nicholson Jack D Jack um, Nori Jack and Nori and Richie Benno yeah. is he still alive yeah Richie Benno four that's the dream mm. and maybe an old French man yeah not famous just hook-nosed French guy. Mm. Sounds incredible. Are you going to throw any uh, women in there as well? Is there going to be a female? Series, series 9 is all men. Series 8 is all women. All women. A hundred of them. But there will be a hook-nosed French woman amongst them. Sounds incredible. Um, and are you both working on anything else at the moment? Is it all just tasking and mastering things my um uh, celebrated sitcom mandane is coming back for a fourth series in october and i'm on tour until christmas doing stand-up yeah alex i'm doing gigs with my little band the horn section and that's a lot of fun yeah and, and i'm doing a show the called button. the button on bbc one but i'm not in it i'm the other side of the camera sounds right. very exciting a kids book as well aren't you yeah i'm writing a kids book about a hook-nosed french man yeah it's a haunting it's called M Monsieur Monsieur Conky. No, no, no. Try again. Oh, Monsieur. You were close. How could you miss his Conky if it's that big? Monsieur Funk Funky. That's the Monsieur, one. Funky. Monsieur Funky. It's called Monsieur Funky. That's not been commissioned yet, though, has it? No, no. But it's been written. You're I've written, I've written it. eighteen novels for children. Are you going to do one about a hook-nosed French woman after the success of Monsieur once, Funky? Once we've got the eighteen away, Madame Funky. <laughs> Madame. So yeah, things are looking not good. Not related, weirdly. No, no, no never no. met. Yeah, but it's not great. It's not great. It's illustrated, um, but just with those clip art pictures. Yeah. Free from the internet. Yeah. <laughs> they're not actually. So it's big budget. They're, they're not actually related to the story, are they? No. Just like really close-up pictures of a dragonfly. <laughs> so watch out for them in the autumn. You can see the dragonfly's eyes. Mm. Yeah. So you'll never use for anything. Yeah, yeah. Like you would see on an apple sort of display. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we've used. And the font is very small. <laughs> it's so strange, because Monsieur Funky actually goes through some fairly difficult life challenges. Yeah, he loses. You know, he did, he loses his wife. Loses his wife, yeah. And, but, and then, then there's just a massive picture of, of like a flamingo. Yeah. It's absolutely unrelated to Funky's life. But you know, who knows? The media's crazy, innit? It might catch on. Mm. I'm hoping it's going to be the new Harry Potter. Yeah. Or the old Harry Potter, same in front. Or oh, Harry Potter, yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure having you both here. Thank you very much for your time. Really lovely being on your show. Well, thank you for coming on it. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at watch of your show now. Hmm. Yeah. I highly recommend it. How do we rate interviewee wise? Um, the best I, ever? I would say so. Who's been, who was, been who was best before us? Before? I really, so I really enjoyed Catherine Ryan, Joe Lysett. Oh. Um, I spoke to Tom Cruise briefly um, and some other people, but... That's an incredible order. <laughs> Ryan Lysett Cruise. Cruise. That's how I order it, yeah. Mm. So now it's Horn Davis, Ryan Lysett mm. Cruise. French guy. Yeah. Have we knocked Cruise into fourth place? He was like 19. Cruise is probably doing series six. I've, oh, is he? Yeah. Well, that's good. I'll be mm. able to pop him in my pocket. <laughs> Sounds incredible. Well, it's been an absolute so, uh, pleasure having you here. I love the show. And I sort of don't want it to end. I'm really having I a nice it, time. We just keep going. I'll just go yeah. with you. Yeah. It's very rare. It's, ver it's very rare that the, it's the really host of the left. show who wants us off. Is that yeah, Normally we, we want to go, but... Everyone wants us to go, Greg. Look, we're yeah. the only ones left in the room. Everyone's just staring at us. I don't know what to do. We'll all just make it on. All of it? Yeah, no, I don't edit that. Don't edit? No, it's so much easier not to. Good God, no. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> if I did that? So I'd, I'd that have to... Funky, that's all in, that. all of it. It's going to say, yeah, nothing gets cut out of this crazy show of mine. Wow. wow. It's all provoking. Mm. Do you want to do your dance? Oh, God, do the dance. For the love of God, do the dance. Get him. Mid late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> He's wanted to do that on telly for ages. Be sure to share, subscribe, leave a comment and give the video a big thumbs up to help support the channel. And I'll see you all again very soon for another episode of the Sarah O'Connell Show. Bye.